Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Nija Lee 2-in-1, Born Pretty Habit Row, and Time Traveler Plate. This is the Nija Lee 2-in-1. It's a base and a top coat. I'm giving it a try. I will have a link for it down below. It comes in a set of four with a matte top coat, a glossy top coat, and the 2-in-1, as well as a base coat. So there you have it i will have that information down below hi woody how you doing so i thought i would give this a shot i normally don't do two and ones but i thought what the heck and here is sister chic's paris nights i have applied that to all of my nails and i'm gonna be using this born pretty yumminess it's from the black orchard orchid series and it's called habit rogue it's stunning. I will have information for this down below as well. I am going to try to do better about listing the things that I got uh, down in the description box. Um, we'll see. We'll see how good I do on it. But I love these polishes. And over black or another dark color, they're just so cool. I love the duochromeness. But I also love that it's got those like hollow like sparkles in them. So I am going to do a second coat. See, I just wanted to see what it would do. You know, if a second coat would really make that much of a difference. And, you know, maybe it did. I don't know. But it is gorgeous. I'm love, love, loving it. Sorry I'm out of frame. Girl's still having issues. Hi, Woody. How you doing? There we go. Get that mess cleaned up. So there it is on its own. Isn't it gorgeous? I love how it flashes. Purpley orange goodness. So, so pretty. And this is the Time Travel BPX <laughs> L023. And I'll be using Maniology Mirror Mirror, my monocle stamper, and my beauty scraper. I just decided I would break this plate out today and give it a play. You know, I love these um, gear images, that kind of steampunk looking stuff. It's kind of hard to see, but it'll look better after I top coat it. So I'm just using different images off this plate. I've used it before in other manicures, but I decided to break it out again. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm cleaning that stamper off on a lint roller. And when I get done, I will clean that plate with pure acetone. And my cotton swab bolly thing. Was that a Manny Saver or Cotton Claw? Those things come in real handy. And if you don't have one, an old clothespin works really well also. <laughs> so I decided to put the little clock image on that nail to let more of the base polish show through. But on the other ones, I'm just kind of going all hog wild. I just love it. There we go. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with some tape. And most of it's coming up pretty well. I think I did remember to do the Burt's Bees this time. I'm getting better about that. But now I'm going to go in and fine tune this cleaning just a little bit with some acetone and a cleanup brush. Didn't, didn't take very much since there wasn't much to clean up to begin with. I'll be using the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat that I'm running out of. I do use the IMK Peel Ease, but it depends on how long I plan on wearing a Manny. Because, you know, that is a peel off base coat, so sometimes your images will come up quicker. There we go. I am going to use the Njali, the Nijali 2 in 1. Use it as my top coat. Seal this design in. And it goes on well and it dries pretty quick, but not as fast as such feet. So there's that. It does dry a lot faster than most of the regular nail, you know, nail toppers. There's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.